Well, did everything go perfectly? No, not at all. In fact, there's lots of things wrong with this installation, but it's done, it's working, it seems reasonably accurate after a, a few adjustments. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, these scales are just cheap aluminum scales from Shars. Uh, they're a little flimsy, but once you get them bolted down, they, they seem stiff enough. Uh, the mounting brackets were usually combinations of the hardware that came with the scales and those terribly fabricated aluminum brackets that you saw me making earlier. Um, one of the big lessons learned was that A, I now own a milling machine, so I should use it rather than drilling things out by hand. And B, if you can't make it accurate, make it adjustable. So I should have put in a lot more adjustable slots to make my life easier while trying to get everything in alignment. I ended up going back and drilling out more adjustable slots afterwards. The scales are being powered by a touch dro uh, unit. It's a kit basically that you can purchase online and you solder it all up. The software is open source and freely available. Uh, you just install on an Android tablet. So you can see here, this is the, the kit firing away and it's just a simple 3D printed enclosure. I'll probably replace that with a nice aluminum enclosure at some point. And the whole system works really well. I'm super impressed with it. This Rube Goldberg attachment mechanism up here uh, was predominantly because I was getting lazy and didn't feel like fabricating a new mount, but it's also because the, the Z axis or the knee is not parallel. It's got a, a taper to it, which made it a little interesting because the bottom had to be flush while the top had to be offset by about an inch. And you can see here my 3D printed arm, which is a temporary arm, I'll replace it at some point, was not quite stiff enough for my liking. So I uh, just zip tied on some angle iron to make it a bit stiffer. And it works really nice now. Uh, it doesn't flex nearly as much as it used to. Uh, I'll still probably replace that at some point because it scares me a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Here you can see it moving through the various axes. The numbers are changing on the tablet. In case you didn't notice, the tablet is connected to the touch drill wirelessly. Uh, so it uses a Bluetooth connection, which makes it really convenient. You can put the tablet anywhere you want. I ran some calibration and measured the, the tolerances on the scales, and they're just about one and a half thou plus or minus, which is, is basically the tolerances of the scales from the manufacturer. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It did take a little extra shimming. One of the scales in particular was bowed a little bit because there's too much pressure on the two clamping sides, which was giving non-linear readings. But after that was fixed, everything seems to work pretty well. Thanks for watching.